When winter weather hits New Hampshire, the DOT isn't just relying on the forecast to roll out the plows. It has an array of sensors around the state that provide real-time data on pavement conditions. It's a whole network of weather spies, I guess you could call it. They're very effective in determining when we need to go out and take care of the roads. One of the missions these weather spies carry out is to determine grip factor, a measurement of just how slippery the road really is. Dry roadway has a grip factor of 0.82. Wet pavement falls between 0.6 and 0.79. Anything below that means ice, sleet or snow and increased danger down to 0.1, the lowest possible reading. In a winter storm, DOT plows are striving to get pavement black and wet. Translated into grip, that's 0.6 or above. The website will actually flag some of these if they get low, so we can actually tell at a glance if there's something going on. In January 2015, a snow squall caused a 35-car pileup on I-93 in Ashland. Not surprisingly, the grip factor crashed before the cars did. The DOT data shows it only took a few minutes for conditions to become very dangerous. At the same time as the grip factor drops, you can see that the pavement temperature and the air temperature are all plummeted at exactly the same time. NHDOT highway maintenance engineer Caleb Dobbins took us inside the TMC, the nerve center for hundreds of plows and road crews around the state. It's here in the winter where they track things like grip factor and weather forecasts. It's also where they control what goes up on message boards along the highways, providing drivers with general updates about road conditions. Between the signs and online communications, the state aims to deliver valuable information to the motoring public. But it doesn't release its grip factor readings. Why not? Administrators say these sensors are too few and too focused to give drivers an accurate sense of the roads. Even on a, on a nice warm sunny day after a storm, if a tractor trailer truck or a car that hasn't cleaned off its roof comes by and that snow comes off and falls in that two by two square area that the grip sensor is looking at, it's all of a sudden going to report a grip of say a 0.4 or a 0.2 when in fact the rest of the pavement is a 0.82 for you know 50 miles on either side of it. Rather than pushing out detailed data on social media or other platforms, one expert says in the future these weather stations won't be talking to you, they'll be talking to your car. I could certainly see a day where self-driving vehicles use data from road weather information systems to make decisions as to how to travel and what the best way is to proceed. Brandon Hoke, a meteorologist at Plymouth State University, says that's the future. In the meantime, he sees another problem with bringing grip factor to the public. There's not a standard for grip factor among manufacturers of these sensors. so. One manufacturer could have one particular standard or range, another manufacturer could have a different standard or range. However, officials say it remains an invaluable tool in their work against winter weather, one that will stay, for now, inside the DOT toolbox. Adam Sexton, WMUR, News 9.